welcome to day two. 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 So today, <coughs> we've already got a plan. We've just left the place. All of that's all that's done. Now that can fuck off now. What we're going to do is we're driving up to a place called Oldswater, which is another lake in the Lake District. We're going to like uh, the more of the south part of it. And I think it's about a 40 minute drive. Take some pictures there, even though it's a very miserable day. I want to go. Oh, okay. Once we're done in Oswater, we're then driving, I think it's about two hours or something, to Edinburgh, where we are then staying for the next couple of days. And then we still haven't actually booked uh, any place to stay on the way back on a Saturday. So I'm hoping to stay somewhere in Oswater camping because we've got the tent in the back. But <coughs> not sure yet. So we'll plan that as we go. But otherwise, we'll see you in Oswater, I guess. Okay, so. Uh, we're barely five minutes in and uh, we found a spot. We decided not to film there. We've stopped here in front of some cows, but we like the look of the valley behind us, which obviously um, we'll, you'll see in a second when we actually go out to take pictures and stuff. You have a problem. What? You got no this signal here. No what? You got no signal. Oh no. Tip for photography, right? Always try to find something to put in the image. I just kind of contradict him because I'm probably going to have a lot of pictures that don't have anything in it but for example so that like that building in your image can make it look a lot better and a lot more you know full and a bit more inviting and interesting rather than just having a picture like this which is just a valley on its own that's a tip for you guys this is rather sketchy anything for the shot anything for the shot uh. I think we're done in this location for now. We're just going to go straight to Old's Water unless we happen to see another photography location on the way, but I would rather just get there to be completely honest with you. Okay, well, we're currently elsewhere. That's the view ish. Can't be asked to change settings. Icky's making me walk over here. We're going towards the rocks. Hopefully, we'll actually be shielded a little bit more by the hill. But he's making me go over here just so he can take a picture of me and then walk all the way back to the car again. Slowly behind us. Guys, do you know the way to uh, Narnia? Well, I didn't know the way to Narnia. Oh, Tomnus is half goat, half man. True. I feel like we're about to be chased by a sheep. Fine, we'll go around you then. Yeah. God, stupid sheep. I'm half of where you come from, Wales. You wouldn't exist without my kind. Another little tip when it comes to photography, always try and think out of the ordinary. So for example, in a place like this with Lake District, anyone who comes here who enjoys photography is gonna be taking pictures from similar locations. So they're taking pictures of across the lake with the hills and stuff, which basically mean they've already done. But try and think of something different. I'm talking to no one here. Try and think of something different, so like the picture on the screen now, I just took a picture of that tree where the sheep are following us. I took a picture of that tree, I just thought it was a lonely tree, so I decided to go up there in the bank and take a picture of the tree. So the tree was in the foreground with obviously the hills and stuff in the background. That's going to be a little bit different compared to people just taking plain old shots like that, which is standard. I actually think that my shoe is so wet that I could pour out the water. No, it's all soaked up. I'm not sure if you want to get anything, but usually with slow shutter, it's much easier to do it at night because when you make the shutter last longer, the shutter, so it goes like this, so it's letting in the floods of light and then closes depending on the, how long you leave it open for. So you can set it for three seconds, five seconds, 30, or however long you want, and it will just stay open for that period of time, which means loads of light is being let in. So you've got to compensate with the aperture and the ISO to make it really dark because of the fact that the shutter's letting in loads of light. During the day you can't really do that because obviously there's only a maximum minimum sh um, aperture that camera lenses can go. So you can have it on the highest one, 22, lowest ISO and it still won't be um, dark enough to compensate the shutter. So 
you kind of have to use like an ND filter, which I have got for my 50. And then that basically, it's basically sunglasses, so that's all it is. It just screws on the front, like so. Is make it lighter and darker with the filter. So that's me just spinning it around, so it's really dark and then really light. They didn't turn out as well as I'd hoped, but you can see what I mean about the slow shutter. Um, I've taken some more of Icky with the water behind, but now he's making me go over here whilst he's over there, and this is just seems a little bit sketchy, so... Yeah, I think we're heading back now because our feet are soaking, haven't paid for parking, and we want to get on and get to Edinburgh so we can shower and look at the photos and relax and stuff for a bit. So I think we'll see you Either back in the car or at Edinburgh, I guess. I think, yeah, one or the other. Hey, Icky. Yeah, I'll be. Uh, okay, yeah. We've been followed. I don't like it. Sounds of the You guys followed us. Did you guys follow us? They look like, a, they look like an Oreo. Oh, there's black, black and then white in the middle. Yeah. Anyway, it like oh, there's water dripping down my foot. Yeah, Let's get back to the car. It, it, Overstuffed Oreo. <laughs> you call them fat? We're here. What? We're in the room. It's literally just a student campus. Um, as you can see from the outside, anyone who has been in a student campus would think that this was a student campus. And it's because it is. This is our room for the next two nights. We've got to share a bloody bed again for two nights. And this is pretty much it. We've got a desk. Toilet. So we're just going to be doing everything that we've been doing the past night and day. Just looking around Edinburgh, taking pictures and stuff like that. And that's literally all we're going to be doing today. But for now, we're just going to relax and do nothing. Uh, because we're both kind of like tired and exhausted and things. So, yeah. Until we see you again. Okay, so now, it's literally in the evening. It's dark outside. We're going somewhere to take pictures of Edinburgh as a landscape. So we're going over to, there's a thing called Arthur's Chair or Arthur's Throne or something like that. And then um, there's also like a road where apparently it's got a good view and on the way back we're staying, we're going up like this little hill. There's also a good view across Edinburgh. So we're going to do that. By any chance, is the Arthur's Chair related to King Arthur? Yes. We get to the point where we question whether this is worth it. We have found our destination. There, just so you know, yeah, you know, Arthur's chair. We're standing on this. Was be a chair, <laughs> it looks a bit different to the pictures. So, we were kind of hoping for a big chair to take a picture of, but this is it. What we're standing on. Is Arthur's chair. I mean, the positive is we've got a good view, but it really was a waste of a walk, to be honest. Waste of a walk. You call him Yeah. Wow. Well.